So both systems are instrumented to measure GPU power, but now Tegra X1 is 2x the performance of iPad, right? It's 65 FPS, this is 32 FPS. So to do an apples to apple comparison, we actually reduce the clock frequency of Tegra X1 such that this too delivers 33 FPS. So now both are delivering the same performance, now how much power do they consume at the same performance? So we measured the performer power consumption by running Manhattan off screen. And this graph basically shows how much each platform consumed while it was running the benchmark. So the red line up here is basically the power consumption of iPad Air, and the blue line is the power consumption of Tegra X1. So you see, during the entire benchmark run, you know, iPad Air consumes higher power. There's a lot of variations, and you'll see Tegra X1 is much more stable in its power consumption while iPad Air goes up and down. <coughs> the most important thing to notice here is the average power consumption. You'll see Tegra X1 consumes 1.5 watts, and uh, iPad Air consumes 2.7 watts. So for the same performance, we are 1.7x lower power than iPad Air. So if you were to say, hypothetically, design a tablet that delivers iPad Air performance, mm -hmm. we'll give you much longer battery life for that performance. Or you could design a tablet that delivers the performance of you know, 2x the performance of Shield tablet and still get a very good uh, battery. So overall, Tegra X1 delivers 2x the performance of, you know, competing processors, the highest in competing processors, and almost 2x the power efficiency of Tegra K1 and uh, other.